right, welcome in to some Michigan basketball postgame. Michigan with a successful road trip to uh, Iowa City. They get the victory 82-79. We're ready to talk about it. I'm Dennis Fithian, joined by Jim Scarcelli. And just what the doctor ordered here, Scar, Michigan with an impressive road victory. Big win, man. Defense, baby. Real good defense. Uh, overall team uh, victory. A lot of good things. Um, the uh, the bracket guy, what's his name? Uh, Joe Lenardi. Joe Lenardi. Joe, uh, bracket Joe, baby. The Wolverines are back in the game. Back in the game. Big win. A lot of good stuff to talk about. Yeah, Joey Brackett's uh, the Michigan, for, for the time, feel like they're in. It, it does. It feels like. You know, it's not March yet, less than two weeks, but you go out there. This is a quad one. These are the kind of things that you're looking for. And, you know, really, they had to hang on there at the end. It, it, it got a little dicey. You know, there were some missed free throws. There are going to be some turnovers. There was a scoring drought. But it really doesn't take away from the way they played for the majority of the game. They had a nice game plan. And it's, hey, you know what? They're not a great three-point shooting team. They're not going to be a great three-point shooting team. But what they have is they have some mismatches down low with two centers and Hunter Dickinson and Musa Diabati. And, oh, yeah, the freshman Diabati uh, with a career high, and he, he ends up with uh, with 28 on the night. Uh, let's start there. What, what did you see from Diabati? He was awesome. Oh, my God. You, you know, hey, when they throw these stars around for guys, you know, four or five stars. This kid's a five-star player. The coaches have done a great job with them. This kid is taking the coaching. Yes, he's a great athlete. Yes, he's a big, tall, athletic kid. But, boy, he – man, man, has he improved. And he was outstanding tonight. Uh, he's he's uh, He was the top guy for the Wolverines. Uh, he keeps the ball alive. On, so many times you got to look. He keeps the ball alive on, on second shots, uh, rebounds. It, it, it initially had a rough time defending Murray. But once he got comfortable out there defending him, I think that was a huge deal for, for us was how well he defended Murray. He had a steal in there. Uh, he got better as the game went on. But um, yeah, I you know, I'm, I'm going to say it right. I'm going to say it. I, I may have said it before, and I don't know who else to compare this kid to, but I think he's better than Chris Weber, and that's about as good as we've had down there. But th this kid, he made some – he's getting better at his free throws. But um, – yeah, I, I thought he was outstanding. I thought as a team we did a great job breaking their press. Jones may not have had a lot of buckets tonight, but, boy, he was outstanding. I don't know how many turnovers he had, probably not many at all. But, you know, they were pressuring at the end. They were pressuring all game with the, the types of presses they like to do. And um, I thought he I thought he did a good job breaking their press. Yeah, Diabate was fantastic tonight, had the career high, and he was really good in that win at home against Purdue. You know, I'm not you know, he, he's not Chris Weber yet. I mean, Chris Weber had the best hands ever in the game and uh was was more of a force and was more consistent throughout his freshman season. But Diabate still has six games to play, plus the Big Ten tournament and the NCAA tournament. So th that you even compare him to a guy like C Webb, you know, says a lot. And and you know what? You don't really like, you know, his shot looks herky jerky, so you don't like him shooting threes, and he and he blew that that free throw. But you know what? Everywhere else, I mean, that's just starting with some of the things you don't like. Everything else that he does, he's a vacuum pleader. He's got great hands. He looks like he can dunk on anybody. Nobody can stop that right hook, and everybody knows it's coming right now. When everybody knows that shot's coming, they can't. He's so athletic, they can't get on his right hand to go up and stop that. Uh, so he's got to move now uh, as well. And I know they'll scout him for that, but uh, uh, it's a great sign for the Wolverines here. You know, you, you're looking for that, that uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it, a Batman or a Robin to the Batman or a one-two punch or whatever else. And, you know, Michigan's got it. Like the football team, Scar, you know, Michigan was, you know, turning back the clock, going to the running game. This Michigan team, you know, they're 130th in, in shooting threes and makes and all that. They don't have any three-point shooters. This is a low post. Back to the basket. We're gonna grind you down. 1980s basketball team. Yeah, we uh, we definitely gave them problems with two big guys that can score on the low block. But we had enough three point shooting. Jones made uh, one or two. Brooks was uh, gave us enough out there. Uh, I thought Hunter Hunter did a good job passing the ball tonight. Uh, he 
you know, he was he was kind of average in a lot of other ways. He did he did okay defensively, um, but I thought he he did a good job passing the basketball because they their game plan was to double him. Um, it, it's you know you look at how much our guys have improved, but I looked at, I look at Iowa boy the McCaffrey kid, he's really improved. And I, Murray is probably the most improved kid, and he definitely would be on my All Big Ten team along with a guy like Liddell and Ivy, but. I thought we did a great job defending them. Um, what else did I see here? How about Bluffkin coming off the bench? He made a couple big plays. He had a steal. He went up. You know, when uh, when I was having a hard time, when they drive uh, drove the lane finishing, you know, he went down there and threw one down. Uh, you know, he could drive the lane a little bit, you know. So coming up with uh, 10 points, we've been talking about it. I'm sure everybody has. I yeah, mean, you know, not being able he, made a, he, he made a three-pointer. Uh, he, he he kept a, he got a rebound and finished at the rim. He finished at the rim another time. And I think, you know, I've been saying it all year. We, Williams didn't play at all. I don't know if he didn't travel. I, I don't know if he hurt, hurt his ankle. Oh, is that what it is? Because Brandon Johns has got maybe three, four minutes. So I think the coaching staff has made this, it had made the decision. And I, we've been saying it for the last couple of weeks, you know, let, let's go with Buffkin, man, because he's a scoring threat. Brandon, Brandon Johns, his confidence is shot. And at Buffalo, uh, Buffkin, there's definitely a future there. He's a big, he's a big athletic kid. He did some good things tonight. You're right. You're right about him. But I tell you, I really like Jones's effort. I thought he played a real smart game. Agreed. Um, and he's a physical kid, man. He had a couple big rebounds at the end. He had that big one down in there, and he did make a, a three. He did finish at the rim a couple times. Um, you know that last call, the one call we were uh, at, with, when he drove at the end, it was off him at the end, but. Jones was really good breaking their press. You know, that's that's such an un uh, – you don't notice it. Uh, you just take it for granted, and it's not easy to do against a team like Iowa who does such a good job trapping. But Jones was uh, – he, he was outstanding tonight. Well, he's strong with the ball, and they needed him to hit that free throw when he did. You know, at the end, he, he got one of two. That's all he needed to do, and he did get that one. Uh, Caleb Houston didn't have a very good game. Oh, a five from downtown only had six points, but he hit two big free throws late. They needed those because they were missing some and they were searching for some baskets. And the one time they had Hunter Dickinson, they had Hunter Dickinson again. And maybe Buffkin was down there and then Diabate missed one. It looked like a lid was on the basket here. Andre with a point on the feedback says this team has to stop the up and down play during a game. They go up 10 and then give the points right back. Well, that would be the tail of the tape of this game, Andre and Jim, like th there was, uh, Michigan hit him with a big run. Iowa came back. I mean, you you get that kind of play. But, I, you know, I felt good at the half about Michigan's chances. They were playing defense. They were playing with some intensity. And even though they were one of 12 from downtown, you saw, like, they were getting good shots. I mean, the three-point shots, uh, you know, you what do they end up, four of 20? You got to do better than that. You know, you don't expect to win ball games if you do that. But they're they're getting such quality looks out there. And even, um, you know, at the half, I felt good about that. And then Brooks uh, dropped a couple in. But, you know, this team's developing. I always say, well, what's their identity? I think you know what this team uh, team's identity is right now. It's a, it's a, a double D. Dickinson Diabate. That, <laughs> that's the identity. Yeah, it was, well, you know, you know, Danny, every team gives us – every team is going to have strengths and weaknesses defensively. And this team did a pretty decent job on defending the perimeter – uh, but they, you know, we we did pretty good, and that's give credit to our coaches. They realized we had had some advantages with both the big guys in the game. But yeah, you talked about Houston. He did have a steal in there, but he 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 was uh, really off tonight shooting. You know, he just got to get bigger and stronger. I watch him under the rim; he gets pushed around. A couple of huge huge rebounds they had. They, you know, he just he just hasn't been in the weight room. He's only an 18 year 19 year old kid. But yeah, he's got to get stronger. You know, J Jace Howard got in the game, and we know he can play defense. We know he's an athletic kid. He can block shots. He's a good, rangy kid. And um, it looked pretty smooth on that drive. He, he finished at the rim. I, I, you know, you, you put a kid like him in the game, and the first thing, I, I, okay, yeah, we know he can play defense. We know he's a hard, he's going to play his butt off and defend and rebound. But do people have to cover him? And he showed that he could. He went to the rim. He took. He, he went to the rim strong. And so that was good to see that uh, Frankie Collins was was not feeling it tonight. He had some turnovers, had a travel, had a shot blocked. Uh, he was it was definitely not his deal. He's still taking threes, 
I don't know why he's allowed to take threes, but uh, the coaches saw it and they and they limited him. But uh, you know what else did I see here? Yeah, we had a lot of steals tonight, Denny. I I, I guarantee him, uh, Coach Coach McCaffrey is ripping his Hawkeyes tomorrow when they look at film. You know, a lot of that was uh, a lot of that was because of our defense, but that was uh, that was outstanding. And and how about Jawan though with the two technicals? You know, I. That was a little frustrating watching that. I mean, I, I understand he because I thought some of them calls were going against us early on too, and I understood his frustration. But you know, the well, one with the, all right with uh, Juwan getting the one. Uh, you know, the the fouls. He he thought he got fouled, and you know that's going to work on the refs, and you're going to try to get something to, you know, hopefully that you're going to get some calls and those free throws. But you know, you can't go out there on the floor. He's lucky he didn't get thrown out of the game. You know that they came up with the you know, just one, like the NBA style that they've got that do. Like, I thought he would have been out of the game. And, you know, you can't. That's a real mental mistake. Like, the yeah. the, the tech was strategic, you know, by him, you know, and, and that's fine. But, you know, grabbing the ball there. But, you know, when you, you you win the game there, it ends up being kind of like, oh, hey, that was kind of cute. Or I don't know if that cute would be the right word. Yeah. Get a funny. Uh, but that's it. That's the way things go, you know, when you win a ball game. But, yeah, you know, you're right to point that out. And now, you know, they, they had these two games that, you know, people are looking at what, and you're going to when you're, uh, you know, you're right on the bubble and now you're the first four out and now you can get yourself back in and, you know, look at them. You know, they got Johnny Davis and uh, Wisconsin coming up on Sunday. They got to feel great and feel confident about being able to go in there and, you know, hang with the Badgers now. Let's go. Yeah, this you know this is a good a, a different game. They're going to slow the whole game down. It'll be a low scoring game. Iowa, Iowa, you know, where's that shot clock out? It'll be a different game, but uh, so they're going from a hundred miles an hour to uh, you know five miles an hour. Yeah, little little dude. Uh, that, we, another thing I want to point out, my man Jones, he took a charge. Yeah, you I like that. to see. I like to see more charges. That was a big uh, factor in the game. Um, I wonder if the Hawkeyes are spending the night in Iowa, Denny, with all this snow. It's snowing like crazy here. I don't know if, if they're going to be able to land a plane over here tonight, but uh, it'll be whatever it is. It'll be a, it'll be a fun plane ride home. But uh, yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of good things defensively, man. I, I'd have to say, it, it, looking at it as a whole, I would say our defense. I think our coaches had a good game plan. We were in and out of man, in and out of zone. Uh, we gave them a lot of different looks and. Uh, you know, I, I think our, our, our coaches did a did a good job with their defensive scheme and the and the players carrying it out. I mean, still they scored. Where they get seventy nine? What was it? Where they get? Yeah, seventy nine. You know, it's it, it's it's still a lot of points, but for Iowa, you know, that's that's pretty good defense. Yeah, well, Iowa shot. Uh, they didn't shoot well from three point land, so you credit Michigan there. You know, four of eighteen. And you mentioned it, you know, Keegan Murray, you know, he's up for like player of the year. I know Michigan's going to see Johnny Davis. There's a lot of stars in this league and everything. But Murray, like you talked about right off the bat, man, he's just fly, flying by Diabate. And, you know, he's, uh, you know, throwing back, uh, you know, had some dunks in there. But Diabate did really well after that first minute and settled in. And, uh, you know, the intensity and the defense and the rotation and, you know, really the the, the game plan of getting the ball down low and, and knowing your, what your identity is and, and not playing like get caught up saying, Hey, well, you know, we're, you know, we, we need to shoot threes or we didn't know you need to go down a hundred tickets and play through him. And if you're not playing through hundred tickets and you're playing through Musa Diabati, it's the, it's the double D show now here for Michigan. And you see it coming together. It certainly did tonight. If Diabati can come close to playing like this, I mean, that's a big factor. I mean, you got a great one, two punch now. And, you know, it was never going to be all Hunter Dickinson. Uh, you, you got, uh, you know, just like I was running, uh, you know, 100 miles an hour. And now you see Wisconsin take it down to five. You know, teams are used to seeing a team that wants to go down and, and pound you back to the basket down low. Uh, certainly with, you know, one now with two guys uh, for Michigan. So that can present a problem, you know, for opposing teams. So, you know, uh, they had to have this win after, you know, they're sitting there. It was a three-point game at the half, but Michigan, you know, they get up eight with 10 to go. Then they're up nine with 11. You know, you start going down. They're up 10 with six and a half to go, and you're thinking, hey, they got to win this game now, uh, and they did. And they get the quad one. They get a career high from Diabate, and things are looking good uh, for yeah, Jawan. You know, you know Daniel, I, I, we, we, were play, we, looked, we looked good at halftime, close game, you know, and I was, getting, I was getting those thoughts of Michigan State again. I had to get them out of my head 
and they, you know, how bad we played in the second half against them. And, and luckily our players are a, a hell of a lot mentally tougher than I was thinking because we came out and we played, you know, we played a great second half and, uh, and just a lot of good things, man. And, and Dia Body, boy, I, uh, I, you just wonder with a game like that, the kid probably earned himself a lot of money because you, you, he, he's a, uh, I just see him being, I, I mean, I see him being a, a you know, an, an all-star basketball player at the, at the next level. It's just a matter of how soon he's so athletic. He's got the length. He can shoot. He can drive. He defends the, the kids up. Kid does it all. Hey, you know what? If he carries Michigan for the rest of this month and in March and gets him into the tournament, you know what? Uh, I'll drive him to the airport if he wants to go pro, you know, carry Michigan, you know, and get him into the tournament because uh, a week ago, you know, it seemed like uh, it was a dire situation. And now, you know how it is, man. Uh, one win can make, especially on the road, uh, can make you win fantastic, uh, can make you feel fantastic this time of the year. How about you? you know, Denny, I was just looking at my notes about what we said that Michigan needed to win this afternoon. We talked about it. And I tell you, I think we did we did a great job defending the three point line for Iowa. And I think that we did a good job. Bohannon, I mean, I don't know how many he had. What did he get? Maybe two. Brooks did a good job. We we just did a real good job defending their three point line. And we made them go two at a time, made them made them uh, drive. And um you know, I think our game plan, the game plan we talked, you know, Juwan talked about getting back on defense. I talked about defending the three-point line, and uh, and we really did a good job against Bohannon. Yeah, and I talked about getting it to Diabati and letting him go and, and let him go. <laughs> and he did cook tonight. And, you know, if, if you're a Michigan fan, I, I think the, the thing you feel most excited about is you, you get the win, you get the quad one win, you get a road win. And, you know, you, you feel like you've put yourself in contention, you know, to to get into the NCAA tournament. Uh, certainly now you're, uh, uh, you know, you, you, you've got everybody's attention, you know, heading into Sunday. There's no more football. You know, the spotlight's on you. And, and now you're ready to go. And, yeah, a star, you know, and he flashed. And, and he's been flashing. But, you know, he put it and, and put a, uh, a great performance uh, together tonight. And, you know, Michigan now. You know, they've got something. They've got something with a one-two punch. So um, you got to feel good about that and the bench with Buffkin coming up. And, uh, you know, what, what What do you say now? Let's rock and roll on Sunday. Yeah, Danny, I like it, man. They're, they're a confident group. We went on the road now. We, we, we've we won in Iowa, Indiana, and, and, and Nebraska. So, you know, we they're, they're a team that knows they can go to Wisconsin and win. There's a lot of, a lot of teams have gone into Madison this year and won. So it, it could be done. And uh, I think we're a good matchup for them. Yep. And I like the post presence and I love the intensity and the overall defense there for Michigan. And you know what, if you're talking about, you know, how do you win? How do you get into the tournament? Where's it all start? I mean, you get back to those, you know, you, you, you play defense and you, and you play hard and you play uh, with intensity and then the offense, you know, you find your identity and they have found that. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not ready to say this thing's clicking. Watch out. This team's ready to make a run. But I, I like, you know, even last game, you know, that they, they lost against Ohio State. I like their game plan. They were trying to do the same thing there. They were trying to get the ball down low, and they had some – they ran some nice sets, and they had good looks, and they just – they weren't able to knock them down. There was some of that going on again tonight with the outside shot. They were running some things, and they were – you know, you could see it. You're like, hey, that's a good play. That's a good shot, and it just wasn't going in. But, uh, you know, to then to have some success with it, you know, this is what they are – moving forward and and that's what you need and that's what you need and now you'd like yeah. to see some different guys stepping up on the bench and you'd like to see houston you know i mean i i say this every game and you know i'll, I'll keep saying you like to see him drop some threes and they really need that but uh brooks did it tonight and you know they're gonna need houston at some point if they're gonna make the tournament and he's capable i think and you know now's the time so hopefully he can you know by the time you know here comes march you know he needs to put it together yeah, you talk about this game compared to Ohio State. The Ohio State was way better on defense, though. They just way they got more size. They're more they're more they athletic. Hard. No, Iowa doesn't play hard on defense. Yeah, they're not, it's not that they don't. I don't know that it's not that they play hard. They just they don't have the size and the athleticism. Ohio State's got bigger, stronger dudes, man, and they switched everything on us. And they, they were just a they were uh, they gave us a tougher time. And, and this team was easier to uh, get get some decent shots. We had more success on the low block against this team, but uh, hey, it's a big win, and uh, and we'll be fired up, man. We'll be fired up going into Madison, and uh, should be a confident bunch. There you go. 
Is that your final thoughts, Scar? Yeah, I think I think we're in good shape, man. I think it's it, it, Diabati was just again. I just can't say enough, man. And I just you just love the kid's attitude. I you, you watch him, and the kid's all about team. He, he he's not looking at himself. He's uh, he, he's just a young little puppy out there, man. And he plays his butt off. And he's uh, I just I just love the way he he, he does all the cheap. You know, he he keep the ball alive. He he fights like hell under the basket. I see. You know, he's he's just got to get bigger and stronger. Because he gets pushed around a little bit sometimes, but when when he gets in the weight room a little bit and gets some more meat on him, uh, boy, he's he's something special, man. Yeah, well, when you see him throwing down some of those dunks, uh, that's when you do think he's something special. I mean, that athleticism. There's not many guys. I mean, he threw one down in the first half like that, and the announcer's like, "Whoa!" You know, he had another one in the second half. And Juwan Howard said it a number of times in his press conferences this year. You know, people ask about Diabati. And you, you like to hear this. I mean, you don't say this about uh, everyone, but when uh, you know you're, you're listening to a coach talk about a player, you like to hear him say, "Hey, Diabate, uh, you got to take the the keys away to the gym because the guy wants to be in there all the time, and we have to hide the keys because he wants to be in there at six o'clock in the morning with the managers or whatever else." He said that a couple times, so you know he wants to work on his game. He's working hard. You know, he's just not coasted in here, so. Uh, it's great to see that hard work pay off, and it's good to see for Michigan here because now's the time. You know they they needed to flip a couple of these games that look like you know that they were probably going to be losses, and they they did that tonight. Yeah, you know, Denny, uh, one one of our uh, listeners made a comment about you know that we we, we had a, we let people get make a big run on us though, but which is true. But I, you you can never say enough about a team that has the ability to make free throws, and you know as 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 as, as rough a night as it was for Houston. And, you know, and, 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 and Jones, uh, you know, it wasn't a big score. But at the end of the game, man, those guys made big free throws, huge free throws on the road, loud crowd. And, and, and I think, you know, we just missed one of them. I think Jones missed one of them. But I, I just want to emphasize that, talk about that. that. That's such an important thing, you know, to have that ability to close out games at, at the end uh, at the end when they're going to follow you and put you at the line. So that was that was just good to see that. Yep, we're down to a half dozen games, and you can see them there if you're watching here on YouTube or through Facebook or wherever uh, you're at through Twitter, at Wisconsin. That's coming up Sunday, and then there's two home games, Rutgers, which is hot as any team in the country. They downed Illinois last night. Michigan has Illinois as well. Michigan stayed at home to kick off March. This Iowa team back at Chrysler, and then they wrap up the season going down to the, uh, the, to the snake pit, and they have to play Ohio State. So hopefully they don't need that last game. Hopefully they can take care of those two home games before that, but that's putting the cart in front of the horse. They got to get out there and play well against Wisconsin. And then they've got two tough ones against Rutgers and Illinois to finish out this month. I tell you, Danny, when I, when I look back at what I saw this team against Seton Hall, this team against Arizona, this team, you know, uh, going, uh, you know, the way we looked early in the year, if someone would have told me that we're going to win half of our big 10 games, I would have said no. And I, I give that I give credit to our coaching staff because I I think those guys did a great job because this Michigan team has really improved, you know, and, and that's the kids have worked hard to improve, but I, I just think our coaching staff, uh, led by Juwan, I, I give them a big hand because we these kids have gotten better every week. Everybody was throw everybody was uh, uh, talking how bad Jones was and you know he, we we missed on him. I don't know. I, I I'm not saying that now. That kid's playing uh, pretty good basketball. He's a he's a good player. All our, you know, we just we just needed time. We were just so young, and I just want to I just want to throw that out. Give credit to our coaches because this basketball team has really improved. Well, you know what? I'm going to agree with you, and I, I think Devonte Jones uh, is fine now, and you know he's an asset, and and he is good. And you know what? The funny thing about it is, it's it's not like you know they're a dead eye shooting team now. You'd say, hey, they really have to start shooting better. I mean, that's going to be a problem for them, and they're not shooting any better. But they have figured out that, look, you know, we're not going to be able to make the three and it's not going to come. We're going to then play to our strengths. And that is uh, two post players. And, you know, Devontae, he'll he'll shoot one here and there, but he'll drive the lane. That's his game. That's his forte. His strength in his game is running the floor. And it's also taking guys off the dribble and going to the lane. And we know Hunter, even though he shoots threes, you know, he's best uh, in the paint. Musso, we saw him tonight in the paint. I mean, this is a a team that has uh, has an identity now. I think that's important for him. 
Hey, a man has got to know his limitations, man. Know what you can do and know what you can't do. You know, I coached both football and basketball. You know the great thing about football is that as a kid, if he's an offensive lineman, he knows he's an offensive lineman. He's not taking, he's not carrying the ball, okay? But basketball, you know, some you got to play defense. You got to get make shots. It's it's a different deal. And, and some guys, it's hard to understand that. Hey, man, you're just not a three point shooter right now. What's what we got from Antoine? A few problems I see with Michigan. I noticed that they don't have good point guard play, nor do they have very many fast break opportunities. Um, I tell you, Antoine, I thought think about it, man. I thought Jones was pretty good tonight from a turnover standpoint. He broke their press. And, 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 yeah, we, 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 we don't get many fast break opportunities. I don't know how much, uh, I don't know how much Ant, uh, uh, Juwan uh, uh, promotes that. I think we try to do it when it's there. Uh, you got to give Iowa credit for, for getting back and some of the people we played. Uh, but uh, I thought our point guard play from a turnover standpoint was, was pretty solid tonight. But, uh, yeah, I agree with him, man. We'd like to get some more uh, fast break buckets. Those are the easy ones. Well, yeah, I mean, that's I, I can see what he's saying there. I mean, if you're putting him up to saying like, hey, is this a team that you think is going to do some damage in the tournament right now? But we just talked about Devontae Jones. You know, he's not a three-point shooter. He's a, he's a driver. And, you know, that's what he's going to do. And tonight, uh, you know, what did he – I'm trying to get the numbers. I think he had 10 feeds, you know, ended up with 10 assists. I mean, this is a guy – who, who uh, was distributing the ball. He was good tonight. I mean, there's nothing to complain. And he made the, the big free throw when they needed it. Uh, there's a lot to complain about when it comes down. Uh, I have myself, you know, when it comes to Devontae Jones, but you also have to be fair when a guy goes out there and plays well. And, you know, he did play well. Uh, you know, Frankie Collins is, uh, you know, he can't shoot from outside. And so, you know, Devontae's got to be out there the whole time. He had 10 rebounds. And, uh, 11 points, 10 boards, five assists, you know, for Devontae Jones, he had a hell of a game. So what, you know, four steals, a block and one turnover. That's a stat stuff for Antoine. You know what? If we were having three stars in the game, I think you'd put uh Diabate. Certainly it would be one. I, I would put, um, I would put Devontae Jones at number two of my star of the game. And the thing about, you know, Devontae can run the break, but you know, who's filling the lanes out there. They've had an issue scoring, and that's where they finally have found their identity. No, they can't run the break. They can't run a secondary break. They can't really shoot, you know, from outside. They're not, you know, great running pick and rolls. They're good at getting two players down on the blocks and throwing them the ball and letting them attack. That's this Michigan team, whether it's going to be for good and bad. But, you know, now they have the identity, and now you know at least what they want to do. Yeah, you know, we, we, we've got to have uh, scoring from all, all of our uh, people that play play for us, though, our, our starters especially. And, yeah, the, the low post game was a big factor tonight. But, uh, you know, hey, I, 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 I know it's a lot easier playing point guard when you can kick the ball out to people at the three-point line. You know, and that's um, – and we, we you know, we have, just haven't had as much uh, success with that in, in, in – you know, he's got to finish, but he does finish at the rim. Good. What's he got here? Problem with uh, Giovanni, your power forward is your both. Yeah. Yeah. That's he is. A, he is a great athlete, man. We, we, we yeah, you, you're, he's right about uh, Diabati being probably one of our best athletes. And, and that's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to well, see that. Yeah. I mean, Diabati, if it wasn't for Jaden Ivy, he might be the best uh, the athlete in the big 10. I mean, he's that good. So. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying he's the best player. I'm just talking about athleticism. That stuff is off the charts with some of the stuff that he's able to do. All right, Scar, great stuff. And um, uh, we look forward to talking to you next time. All right, big win, man. Big win for the uh, the Wolverines. Uh, Joey Brackett got the Wolverines back in the game, man, back in the hunt. Go yes, Blue. All right, that's it. For Jim Scarcelli, I'm Dennis Fifty, and Michigan gets the win. It ends up 84-79. Uh, Thanks for watching. Because